Right, we wanted to make a laser galvo, um, and uh, being too cheap to get to buy one, we thought we'd have a go at doing one out of a hard drive. Hard drive motors, um, well, the, the, the uh, uh, motors for the heads, um, seem to have a very low impedance coil, and all the bits we need to possibly move a mirror around and shine a laser about. So we've got an Arduino, and we've got a, a MOSFET driver, we've got an H-Bridge driver if we decide to go that route. Um, haven't decided yet how we're going to do it, but looking online, most people who've done it online aren't really going into a lot of detail about what they've done. So far we think we can probably drive this coil quite happily using uh, pulse width modulation from the Arduino, probably um, at uh, 12 volts at around 100 milliamps, so it'll need some current limiting. Um, we're going to have a little play around and see what works and if we can, um, we've got elastic bands to use as, uh, as return springs, actual springs, um, yeah, a few different options for driving it. We're going to have a mess around and see what works and if we get anything working we'll show you the details. Sort the coach a bit more please. Yeah, well, we'll do it. We'll do one like that as well. But um, so, so initially, we haven't got any kind of spring or anything on it. We've managed to hook it up to this little H bridge driver here, which is running off of 12 volts uh, from the PC power supply over there. And um, all we're doing is trying to establish um, how much of a duty cycle we need on the pulse width modulation to make it move. I think it's currently going from what? Uh, 112 to 255. So from 112 to 255, um, but because we've got no resistance on, on the armature there, it's um, only taking a tiny amount of current to, to flip it across. So I think we're going to try and change the code around now um, to try and make it go both ways, uh, and then we need to see if we can get some kind of finer control on it. Okay, so we've had a bit of a change of tack. What I've done is I've taken one of the uh, uh, differential um, gate driver chips that I use on the Tesla coils, um, which is that little thing there, instead of the little H-bridge driver we used, because we can drive directly from that, we're using the PWM output of the Arduino, and what's happening is it's giving us a um, high side and low side output, which are just connecting straight into the uh, hard drive motor via a, um, a pair of current limiting resistors, keep everything sensible. Um, we've just tested it on the logic analyzer, and as you can see, we've got, um, uh, this is the PWM channel here, coming out of the Arduino, and we've got um, a proper differential output coming out, and that's the drive to the uh, uh, the, the little motor, the hard drive motor at 50% duty cycle. Um, it does make a bit of a row when you turn it on, is it able to be no, powered up? No, it's got new code in it now. New code, so what's the new code going to do? <laughs> okay, so we've got the new code on it, which is ramping it around, and as you can see, this it is actually moving. Um, I will put a copy of the various bits of code in the uh, 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 description, but it's very, very simple. I mean, if I go onto the screen, it's not doing anything clever at the moment, um, but it, hopefully it will be soon. Right then, we've added an elastic band, um, which is uh, giving us uh, a bit of resistance on it. Uh, it was sort of centralised in the middle. We've got a, a little PWM ramp going on, and we do seem to actually be able to control the position of the arm, although uh, because of the PWM frequency from the Arduino, it's quite a loud process. Um, I think we're kind of rather stuck with that, but uh, the whole point of this was to try and uh, uh, attach a mirror on there so that we could uh, steer a laser beam with it, and I suspect we might be able to make that work. Okay, so we're still Persevering with driving some PWM into this thing, um, I've drilled some holes now so that we can tension it using this elastic band, although it does seem that the, uh, the, the ribbon cable here is tensioning on one side, so that's a bit strange. But, um, in the spirit of Project Awesome, we have managed to make yet another strange object play the Russian National Anthem. Take it away, Fred. So that is a hard drive, an old hard drive playing the Russian National Anthem, isn't that amazing? Although, interestingly, the notes do seem to correspond to specific positions of the, uh, of the head. So this is something we need to investigate a bit further, see if we can hack the code around to uh, make this give us our beam pattern.
Okay, we've got it here wonderfully playing the Ghostbusters theme, but with just a little bit of tension off that back end, pulling it off the end stop. We've got it reliably reaching certain spots, and we think this might be at 20 kilohertz um, PWM frequency. We're limited to what we can do with, really with the, the Arduino, so it might be a case of trying to rewrite Fred's ramp code now, um, trying to use this frequency, um, and then coming back to it and seeing if we can get uh, dependable um, positioning for the laser. Okay, we've had a bit of um, uh, success playing around with more modulation on the thing. What we decided to do now is mount it all on this lovely plank of wood. We've got Fred here with the protective laser goggles on, looking a bit like um, Kim Jong-il <laughs> <laughs> or something. But we have eaten uh, Vietnamese food for this, so we're all, it's all multicultural here. Um, so we've mounted this, so now uh, any movement in the, um, you know, the Galvo is going to direct the beam around so we can see if any of the methods we're using um, to modulate it are going to allow us to take the beam to a predictable place with any kind of stability. Um, we've now also got the um, the little laser uh, wired in through this um, uh, this MOSFET module so we can turn it on and off from the Arduino which um, will give us a chance for shuttering it. Um, so anyway we'll, we'll get some more code in there and um, come back with another instalment. Um, okay, we've got uh, the basic Galvo working with what was effectively the Tesla coil code. I don't um, know why. It's a bit dark, <laughs> we're trying to work out why it works, but fire it up, Fred, and we'll play the Russian national anthem through the Galvo. Now you can see the laser, I mean, down here it's all working, but on the wall over there in the kitchen, uh, you can see that we've got the laser beam um, going in predictable places now with each of the notes. There is always on the edge of the uh, chopping board. So what we need to do now is um, work out why that's being so reliable. And uh, then we can probably uh, try and bend it to our will a little bit more. As you can see the tiniest movements there uh, on the uh, the old hard drive head is causing totally predictable deflection at that end. It's actually quite a fun night so far. It's like a proper laser bed. <laughs> well, it is a proper laser bed. It's just made out of cardboard, wood, and old hard drive and um, cable ties. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I think... Um, if you've got the laser harp sorted, this should be quite impressive actually. Why does everything we make play the Russian National Anthem in dodgy square wave? This is exactly the same code I was running on the Tesla coil for God's sake. Because awesome. Uh, because awesome. <laughs> a bit more fettling with our elastic band um, driven hard drive Galvo um, thing. You know, it's all kind of going off in the kitchen at the end of the day, but we've had to put the extractor fan on because child's in bed upstairs and I'm a little bit concerned that we're going to set all the smoke alarms off although the Galvo is noisy enough yeah it all looks quite um quite nice and it's still playing the Ghostbusters theme it seems to skip the Russian national anthem this time I can um, provide the Russian national anthem let's, oh, let's try it yeah you know it's traditional isn't yeah, it obviously <laughs> it's a little bit more monophonic isn't it yeah Yeah, it's a nice beam pattern though. You know, when you see most people online doing the crap with the uh, hard drive galvos they do, if only they'd added an elastic band and used the right software. <laughs> yeah, it's interesting that even though it's an H-bridge driven, we're only having to put the elastic band in one direction as well. And, um... I don't think the laser's quite powerful enough to worry about it burning holes in the fridge just yet, although you know, it's always a worry. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that so far. We just need to uh, <laughs> play around with it a bit more. The elastic band's not getting worn out. 
Yeah, so we've been battling with PWM frequencies, but um, still far too much wine, so that we are a bit too drunk to actually write interrupt routines to do this properly. Um, but I suspect, um, from this angle, this doesn't look too bad um, for something we've made out of a knackered old hard drive. Um, yeah, I think it's scanning quite nicely, but we need to um, work out how we can keep that loop running the whole time. Yeah, we need to rewrite the tone library. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But yes, we do. Yeah, we've got some uh, shuttering going on with the actual beam now. So we've got actual... Yeah. Uh, this end probably looks better, actually. And uh, So this is going on in the kitchen. Um, yeah, I mean, it needs a bit of work. It's not a yeah. regular thing at all, but no. um, it's not actually looking too bad. Yeah, I think this is about as uh, much as we can do with the uh, the hard drive Galvo, really. Um, I think this is about as far as we can go with a hard drive Galvo. I think it's time to actually probably invest in some proper ones. <laughs> and um, I know there's uh, yeah, 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 cool. Yeah, it's not doing too badly at all, really. Take a wander back to here, and just to prove that this is in fact um, what we say it is. There is old hard drive motor, laser pointer, Arduino. Have you played mini games?